want Billy Bob to find out this is the last bag of popcorn that we have. And it's his favorite snack, but he won't let me have any. So I hope y'all don't mind. I've got to whisper our Bible lesson today. And that way he won't find us, okay? LMA! Oh no. LMA! Is that popcorn I smell? Uh, what? Is popcorn? that popcorn I smell? Pop Didn't you eat the last bag? No, that's actually the, quite the difference. I'm looking for the last bag. I know there was one bag left somewhere in here. Um, well, um, I know what. Maybe you're smelling. I, I got some snacks here. Don't look at my bag. Well, I know it's in here somewhere. I'll look, find it. Is this what you're smelling? Look, a carrot. No, it don't smell like that. Are you sure? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Smell it. No, no, that smells like dirt. Uh, Billy Bob. Okay, what about, um, let's see. What else do I have in here? Um, cheese? No, that just stinks. Uh, you like cheese. I know I smell popcorn somewhere. Popcorn, hmm, let me see. I got something else. You ready? An apple. You'd never catch that in my mouth. Well, you kind of look like, well, never mind. Um, so popcorn. Well, I, I just don't know. Popcorn. Um, I know it's got to be popcorn. I smell it. it. It's so good smell. It smell the butter. And I'm, why are you acting so fishy all of a sudden? Um, well, you see, Billy Bob, um. You didn't eat my last bag, did apple you? Apple of my eye. Um, I got hungry. And uh, you know how you don't like to share, and and um, I popped the last bag because I wanted it so bad. And you ate it all? Well, I, I, I didn't. I didn't eat it all, but I was going to, but you showed up. And and I really wanted it. It smells so good, and oh my goodness, now i got to share. I don't even want it now that your hands have been in there. For real? For real. Well, but you know what this reminds me of? Oh, I need to start great. putting my hands in more stuff like chocolate and, and m and Notice that's why you'll never find my candy stash. <laughs> you got a candy stash? That's right. You ain't never going to find it. Well, we'll just have to talk about this later. Find me a candy stash. Anyway, you know what this reminds me of? What? This here popcorn reminds me of Jesus. Jesus. Sure does. I've never really had a moment where Jesus and popcorn just went together. Well, it reminds me of Ethan. I'm going to tell you why. Well, this ought to be interesting. Well, it will be. Don't you know I'm interested? That's why you fell in love with me. I was so interested, right? <laughs> well, anyway, so just like I should have thought of it and I should have got something that didn't smell quite so good, but just like you... You found me when I was trying to hide and eat it? Uh, sneaky. And because you found me, because why? You smelled Cause it. Because I smelled it. It did fill the whole house. It smelled so good, didn't it? That's well, a... that's why it reminds me of Jesus. Do you get it? Uh, no. Okay, well, let me explain it to you. Anyway, so in the Bible, there's a verse. And I'm going to read Thou it. Thou shalt not lie. I know it well. No, not that. That is in the Bible, but that's not the one I'm talking about. Well, you sure to tried to pull a big well, one. Well, I didn't lie, I don't think. Did I lie? I just tried to, um, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Help her, Lord. Well, I, I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to. Just so her. she's human after all. Well, that's the truth. That's the truth. But, anyway, let me read my scripture. So, it says in Mark. 724 that he arose talking about Jesus he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon because he was tired no he wasn't tired that's the name of the, the city oh okay I heard you wrong okay I got you and he entered into a an house and would have no man know it but he could not be hid and so it says he could not be hid. He couldn't be hidden just like I couldn't have the fact that I was wanting to eat this popcorn. Jesus couldn't be hid because everybody had heard of all the miraculous things that he did in the Bible. And so they wanted 
to see Jesus. They wanted to be touched by Jesus. Yeah. And and he could not be hid, even when he wanted to be. Everybody flocked to him because he, he changed their lives. And I want to read in, in another Bible story here. And it's found in the book of Acts, I do believe. And it's Acts 3, verses 1 through 9. I'm going to read them real quick. You want me to hold the popcorn while you read it? No, you said you didn't want it, remember? I know, but then... My dirty hands were in it. Well, that popcorn, we don't want to sit there and... Well, I will eat it later. It will not go bad, believe me. Okay, Acts 3, verse 1. It says, Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, beginning the... being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb. Do you know what that means? That means that from his mother's womb, ever since birth, he was lame. He couldn't walk. He was crippled. Wow. And it was so sad because he was born like that. That is sad. And, and listen, he was carried. People would carry him, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful. You didn't know they named a, a gate? After me, did you? I Beautiful. Could, I could tell you, there wasn't nothing they named after you. <laughs> and to ask alms, which means money, of them that entered into the temple, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. So this man was asking money from Peter and John. He wanted alms? He wanted them to give him an alms? It's called alms. Oh, alms. It's alms. money. Okay, okay. You know I got that one bad ear, and you got to make it plain. Can you hear me now? Well, that's Should good. Should I scream that's at you? That's good. Don't scare I'll the children. I'll do whatever don't I got you. i got to get the children. word into you somehow. No, no, don't scare us. Who's seen Peter? Already asked, he asked alms. I already said that. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something from them. He wanted money. But guess what? Peter said, Not on your life. <laughs> oh, he didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He didn't. That's not a good attitude to well, have. Well. And we're going to talk about attitudes here okay, in a minute. So okay. just hold, hold All the right. bridges. I was thinking of something else. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none. Well, he see, didn't have any. told him he had nothing. But he said it nicer than that. <laughs> okay. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I. What do you have to give if he didn't have no money? He had greater than money. He said, "In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk." And guess what happened? You are kidding me. He took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately, and I mean immediately, his and ankle bones received strength. You're just joshing. Me. I'm not a joshing. I'm he just, got right up. He got right up. And listen what he did. He didn't just sit there and say, or stand there and say, well, this is nice. I'm going to get to walk on my two feet that I never got to walk on. What a nice thing for you to do to me, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He didn't do that. What you know he what do? he did? It says that he, leaping up, he leaped. He leaped. He leaped up, stood and walked, and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. So he was excited. Wow. That's he? amazing. That showed that he was excited. Well, I would have been excited too if I never walked before. That's right. And you know what? The people of that town. What they do? They were filled with wonder and amazement. Were they happy? They were happy. Woo. But they thought that Peter and John did it. And no. Peter and John didn't do it. And this is what Peter said. Right. Answering unto the people, he said, I'm going to skip down. And it says, Ye men of Israel, why marvel at this? Why look so earnestly on us as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? So he said, why are you looking on us? Right. We didn't do it. They didn't have a thing. They didn't do they it. They was broke. And then later on, Peter told him, he said, it wasn't us. But it was in the name of the, the Father that we called him out and told him to rise up. That, well, I'm glad they gave credit to where credit was due. Yeah. So, I want to tell you this, that that man 
told everybody he was walking and leaping and praising God. He was excited. He was telling everybody, but I he thought was we praising. weren't supposed to tell nobody. Well, you know what? When Jesus touches you, you can't keep it to yourself. There's just no way. There's so much excitement. He changed your life. There's another Bible story. I'm not going to read about it, but it's the woman at the well. She went there to fill her water pitcher. There was a well? Like a big fish? No, Billy Bob. A whale is a thing with water in it. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, I'm with you now. I'm so with she you. had her water pitcher. Okay. And she went to dip out water and Jesus was sitting there. Yeah. And she had a greater need than just the water that you drink. She had such an emptiness inside. She had tried Poor to, thing. She had tried to fill, fill it full of different relationships of people and she couldn't find anything to fill that void in her life yep. but you know what jesus was sitting at the well Woo. and he said lady i've got something for you that's better than this here water he said i've got water of life Praise and he Lord. said and you'll never thirst again when you taste of this water and you know what you he were... told her of things that she had never done or that she had done excuse me, that she had done, and nobody would have known that if it wasn't for the Lord. Just He knows all. You know? He told her all of her secrets? Her, he, he wasn't supposed to know her, oh, but he did it because he oh, was Oh, she was in big trouble, wasn't she? But, you know what? He didn't get her in trouble. He didn't? No. He was telling her about this here water, and he said to go and sin no more. And you know what? What she do? She went into the whole community and she said, Come, come see a man who told of everything I've ever done. Come see him. And you know what? That community, many of them got saved. Well, praise God for that. Yes, from. I'm getting excited thinking about it. I know it. And it's from her excitement of telling everybody and and you know what? That reminds me of this here popcorn, too. Now, what in the world? I'm still trying to link the popcorn to the lesson here. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, just hold on a minute. Now, this popcorn, when I popped it, it just let off this aroma. Uh, it and still it smells. So, can you I, smell yeah, I can smell it. it. Get it? Get Take it. a big old sniff, no, okay. No, don't touch it. Just sniff it. Well, don't taste me. Well, you smell that? Don't that smell so good? Mm. No, you're not eating it. This is my bag of popcorn. You already said it. Well, you're being just plain right mean. No, but I just wanted to show you that. Now, this here popcorn, it smells so good and so good. But it reminds me because that's kind of like those people letting off that aroma, that praise. That oh, praise. yeah, the praise. And she could have just stood there and said, oh, I don't want that old living water. Or she could have Dirty just... rat, if she would have said that. Well... Worse some... than my possum. I'm not raising that dirty rat. Well, some people say that. They uh, don't want it. That's really mean. Like... I, how could people reject Jesus? Well, there's some people that do it. It's real sad because if they came to him, they'd, they'd be so much happier. And because he comes into your life and changes you completely around. And he makes you new. He the, did that dirty thing for me. Yeah, he did it for me too. You know, normally, when someone takes my popcorn, <laughs> they got a fight on their hands, but because I love you, and because Jesus filled me, I'm going to let that one slide today. Well, I appreciate it, Billy Bob. I really do. But that's how it reminds me, because of their aroma of praise. And we can't just sit back when the Lord does something for us. We can't just sit back and not... Crazy, That's not right. Can't it. can't do it. Well, I want to tell you this too. This popcorn smells really good because I cooked it for the right amount of time. Right. But did you know that if I cooked it too long, it would stink. I know. It'd be like your usual <laughs> burnt. <laughs> I do not burn everything. Either. Why do you think I usually cook the popcorn? I do not burn it. All this time, you thought it was because I didn't want to make popcorn that I volunteered. <laughs> well. Listen, it's because of this that I thought about the burnt popcorn, too. Let me show you no, this. No, no. What does the burnt popcorn have anything to do with the sweet smelling and the praising and well, all? Well, because I want to tell you. All right, there's good popcorn and there's burnt popcorn. Which is bad. The good popcorn 
is like our Christ-like attitude. Oh, Christ. Praising the Lord. Yeah. And, and being kind to others and showing Christ through everything we do. Oh, Christ. And then the burnt popcorn is Kind of like, like your attitude yesterday. My attitude yesterday? Now, I was pleasant as a peach to you yesterday. Even after you got mud all over me. That's why you were swatting at me with that fly swatter? Well, Billy Bob, I got to give you some correction. You walked all over my floor full of mud. And what was I supposed to do? Well, you know when I go hunting, that's going to happen. Well, you ain't supposed to be out hunting in the first place. You're supposed to be in the house, away from ev everybody else. This Coroni or Coroca or whatever is getting on my nerves. Well... It is what it is right now. We gotta, uh, we gotta do what we gotta do. Anyway, but this burnt popcorn is like a bad attitude, complaining all the time. Yes, and unkind to others, Billy Bob. So I just wanted to show you this too. In Second Corinthians two fifteen, it says, "For we are unto God a sweet savor." That's like a fragrance of Christ. <clears throat> And them that are saved, and in them that perish. Now listen. Your fragrance is a little bit better than mine. Just a little bit. A little bit. bit. Just a little bit. When's the last time you had a shower? Three weeks ago. Exactly. Exactly. You're supposed to do one every day, Billy Bob. Well, it keeps the bugs away. How many times do I tell you? Well, let's not talk about it right now. Like I ain't got no people. bugs on me. They probably all died off when they got on. I don't know. It's the best mosquito repellent out there. Natural deodorant. <laughs> Billy Bob, we're supposed to be a sweet savor of Christ. And it says to them that are saved and to them that perish. So we're giving off an odor, whether it be good or whether it be bad. Now, it could be like the good popcorn or the burnt popcorn. Now, I want to ask you, and I'm scared to ask you. But what kind of smell are you letting off to everybody? Now, that aroma. I'm not really talking about the physical aroma. Thank the Lord. That needs some improvement. I'm talking about that spiritual aroma. What kind of aroma are you letting off, Billy Ball? Do you have that aroma of praise and just praising and worshiping our Lord? Well... I need to work on it a little bit now that you put it that way. Well, you know what? Don't feel bad because, you know, know. what? I think we all do. Yeah. And I want to tell you, in Psalms, this, I love this passage of Scripture. Well, I hope it's something encouraging. It is. It's very encouraging. Psalms 34, starting at verse 1, we're going to read to verse 8. And it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. All that times. means even in the bad times. Yeah. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in, be my, in mouth. my mouth. Hallelujah. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord yes. with me. Yes, magnify him. And let us exalt his exalt name. Exalt his name. Hallelujah. And it says, I sought the Lord and he heard me. Hallelujah. And delivered me from all my fears. Yes, he has. They looked unto him and were lying, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and this the poor. Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that feared him and delivered him. Round about us. And Hallelujah. then it says, Oh, taste and see, see that the Lord is good. Hand me over some of that popcorn and let me taste and see. <laughs> not the popcorn. Oh. That's mine. <laughs> Wrong verse. Hallelujah. That was Hallelujah. not in the Bible. That wasn't in there? That was Billy Bob version. That wasn't even in the New King James? Nope. No. That was the Billy Bob version. Not even in the AJV? No. Nope. Whatever that is. I don't know either. It says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Yeah. So, I want to bless the Lord at all times. And I want his praise to continually be in my mouth. Yes. And I want it to be like that aroma that just, like that pop. Be careful how you wave your arms. Be careful. <sighs> Billy Bob. Not so fast. Oh, my goodness. There you go. You don't have to worry about me. There I you smell. Go. I smell. Perfect distance. <laughs> smell like roses and you know it dead ones <laughs> okay let's sing a song okay 
All right. Is it going to be joyful? Yeah, it's going to be joyful. We're going to have to move, though. Are you ready to move? I'm ready to move. Just don't move too much. Okay? So I'm going to start. we got to squat down. You know, squat. Oh! Don't bust your britches. Well, you know, this really gets hurt in my back. Well, you got to limber up a little bit. All right, so we're going to sing Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Okay, you ready? Okay, uh, who's Hallelujah? I'm Hallelujah. I'll start us off. Okay. okay you I, just take your cue after me. Now, when it's your turn, you're going to pop, pop up. Pop up. Like popcorn. Okay? You ready? Can we stop talking about popcorn? You're making me really hungry. Well, serves you right. When you share, you don't share. You eat the whole bag. Let's careful. Uh, right attitude oh, at all times. That's true. I'm, maybe I shouldn't have done this one. All right. You ready? Hallelujah. 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 Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Shut off. We're going to get faster. No, no, we not have oh, no applause. Oh. We're going to get faster. You ready? You can't carry on like you did the first time. We gotta do it fast. You ready? Fast. Fast. Kids, do it with us. You ready? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm lost here, folks. You guys <laughs> You Praise don't confuse me, Emma. I got confused because you we're doing it You told fast. me the song. Oh, no, I messed up. I messed up. Just scratch that. That's right. All right, go. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah. Go ahead, praise. Okay. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, praise ye, ye the Lord. Big finish. How about that? It was big, all right. All right. Well, you got anything else you want to add, Billy Bob, or say, or, or do? Don't do too much, but. I think you about covered it all today, Ellie Mae. I mean, so. I, I really do. I, I feel a, a sweet spirit. And, and you know, this this lesson has really uh, taught me something today. What did it teach you? Well, that bag. I was noticing that bag in your hand. What bag? I wanted to see if it was had a, a good fragrance or a bad fragrance. Well, it, 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 it's real good. I, I think it's good. It's good. You don't have to worry about it. But um Well shouldn't you do a closing prayer or something? Well, I might let you pray this time. Cause um I kinda wanna get a head start. Rat. Well, kiddos, she's left me here to finish. I'm not used to this. I'm a little shy. But we're gonna say a prayer real quick and then be dismissed. And pray for Ellie Mae that God will work on her sharing, okay? Lord, we thank you again, Lord, for everything we learned today. I thank you, Lord, that you've put a sweet fragrance in my heart. And Lord, I know there's times, Lord, that we might not smell so good. But, Lord, you've given us so much to praise you for. Thank you for my health. Thank you for all of the things that you've provided for me. And Lord, I just ask you to keep everyone safe during this time. And Lord, we thank you for dying on the cross and rising up again like we learned last Sunday. And Lord, today I'm saved and I know it. And I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ellie Mae, I'm coming for that popcorn. Oh.